Question 23. A swimming pool can be rented for $110 per hour. Okay, so I can rent it for $110 every hour. The pool can be rented for either one hour or two hours. Okay, so you can only rent one hour or two hours, no more. The cost in dollars to rent the pool is a function of the number of hours the pool is rented. What are the domain and range of the function for the situation? So I need domain and range. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about domain and range. Okay, domain is the list of X values. Range is the list of Y values. And I have some numbers and units. So basically my units are, I have hours and I have dollars. That's what I'm counting, okay? So what I mean by units is you're always gonna look at what are you counting? What, what numbers, like what, what do they mean? Well, this is one hour, right? Two hours, so obviously hours. And this has 110 and it's dollars. Okay, so I have dollars and hours. And I'm gonna tell you from now, usually time is X, okay? I'm gonna tell you this little trick. Usually time is X, okay? So what's my time? What's my time? Hours. So if hours is X, then dollars has to be my Y, right? Okay, so my hours are either one or two. So my X is one and two. That's my domain. X is domain and X is one, two. That's my X. Now my range is my Y. It's how much money I'm paying for one hour and two hours. Okay, so look, it's $110 per hour. So for one hour, how much money? $110. For two hours, it's $110 plus another $110. So what is 110 plus 110? 220. That would be my range, okay? It's just one hour and two hour, that's my X, which is my domain, and $110 for one hour, 220 for two hours, that's my range, my Y. So it looks like my answer is B. All right, thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you like that question. Uh, leave a comment and subscribe. I'll see you again next time.